Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Horizon Hobby and our Thursday Thunder that we do every week. We've got a bunch of stuff to talk about, so we're going to try to run through this real quick. First Sounds up, good. we have Brad from Arma joining us. Don't have anything sitting here, but we're going to roll in it's probably some photos, yeah. like B-roll in. So, Brad, what are we here to talk about today? The new Typhon. Uh, it's the 4x4 3S platform Typhon. Okay. Uh, it's pretty cool because it kind of has the heritage of the 6S kind of built in a little bit. Uh, one cool feature, it's 50 mile an hour capable okay. right out of the box. Sweet. So... Uh, cool features on it. Uh, it does come with the Tactic 3 channel radio, uh, waterproof servo, and ESC and motor. Perfect. So you can bash around all you want. Yeah. Uh, it is very durable. Has the whole arm of durability behind it with a two year warranty. Now, this is built on the same chassis as I believe like the Big Rock Crew Cab 10th scale. Correct. Okay. Yes, yes, 3S platform. Okay. So a lot of the parts are going to be interchangeable for you. That's great. So you, you can kind of, you know, have multiple vehicles, but same parts. That's awesome. That's perfect. So, I know a lot of people have bought multiples of these already. Yes, now they're yes. going to be like, ah, yes. something else to buy. So. Yes, so it comes in at $300, uh, two, uh, $299. Okay. Uh, so it's right there. It's very capable of, of extreme speeds, durable, so everything a bachelor would want. Okay, great. Well, uh, this will probably be available, I would imagine, within a month or so. Yeah, very soon. Okay. Very soon. So watch, watch closely. It'll be available. Okay, very good. We'll let Brad go. Like I said, we have a lot to talk about, so we're going to try to run through this pretty quick. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming up. Hey guys, this is Frank Root, TLR product developer, and I'm here today to share with you the all-new 22 5.0 line of two-wheel drive buggies. Uh, the 22 5.0 is uh, first for TLR because we've taken the two-wheel drive buggy and we've made three different kits out of it to maximize for each type of surface, each type of racing that you're going to do. So if you're racing on dirt or clay, you're going to get the 22 5.0 DC. This is a suspension package. It's differential. Uh, the springs included, the setup that's in the kit, it's all maximized to go race on these dirt or clay surfaces with any motor, including modified motors. We also have the 22 5.0 SR. Now the SR stands for Spec Racer, and if you're going to go race on dirt or clay, and you're going to be running 17.5 Spec Racing, this is the car for you. We have a lightweight drivetrain included in the kit. We have uh, the slipper eliminator included in the kit, and then again, the suspension geometry, everything is set up to be dialed for spec racing right out of the box. And then last but not least, and really it's the newest one for TLR, is our first dedicated car for artificial or carpet surfaces, and we're calling that the 22 5.0 AC, uh, which stands for Astro Carpet. This includes an all new uh, planetary style gear diff, it includes sway bars, stiff springs, and piston suspension geometry specifically tuned for racing on carpet. Uh, including things like narrow front wheels and all of the suspension geometry, diff heights, everything, so you can go right on and race on carpet. So in general, the 22 5.0 has a lot of new features. Uh, I'm going to start with the front of the car. We're just going to kind of work front to back. We have an all new camber block on the front that gives you three adjustment locations. We have a new pivot height in the front that allows adjustment from uh, what we call super low roll center all the way to the normal roll center. We have uh, all new steering geometry in the front of the car and the steering geometry is a lot smoother off center and gives a lot more low speed steering. It's a lot easier to drive from your average Joe to your veteran pro but it really makes the car a lot easier to drive and quicker around the track a lot more consistent. That's really one of the big upgrades. When we get to the middle of the car we have an all new chassis for the 22 5.0. Traditionally the 22 chassis have been two and a half millimeter thick but on the 5.0, this chassis is two millimeters thick. It allows more flex, giving the car more grip, more consistency, and less of the, the little inconsistent step outs or tendencies of the car. We also have an all new battery mounting system uh, that uses elastomer bands to hold the battery in. This is great because it fits a th slim shorty or a full size shorty, uh, weight plates under the battery or not, so you can stack the battery up and down and the elastomer band accommodates all of the different heights and then there's five repeatable locations so you can move your battery front and back and you can get the exact setup that your buddy has or one of our team drivers. Moving to the rear of the car we have the 22 uh, rear suspension and lay down transmission. Uh, new for the 5.0 is an all new slipper assembly that uses uh, a large uh, diameter M7 or I'm sorry an M4 7mm nut uh, with 
a smaller slipper pad and a smaller slipper plate, which allows us to run spur gears on the slipper from 69 tooth all the way up to 84 tooth. We also have revisions to the diff, which have been making that last longer. And for the SR specifically, we have aluminum outdrive saver rings uh, to go over the composite outdrives that really increase the, the life of those uh, composite outdrives. As far as the uh, suspension goes, the rear tower is now made out of Stifizel. The rear hubs are still the aluminum plate topped uh, rear hubs. And kind of last but not least, uh, we have all new shocks for the 22 5.0. So the shocks are new. Every part in the shock except for two seals is new. And with these shocks, they now have a three millimeter shaft. Uh, it makes the compression rebound balance a lot better for all types of surfaces. It makes the car feel more alive around the track. Uh, really increasing lap times, corner speed, and comfort. The pistons are screw-on style. The spring cups lock onto the eyelets. The eyelets even have a flat spot so they slide into the arms easy. So we really didn't take anything for granted with the shocks and went all new. So just to recap, we got the 22 5.0 DC. That's for dirt clay. We got the 22 5.0 SR which is also for dirt and clay but for spec classes. And we have the 22 5.0 AC which is for astro and carpet. All three kits are $319.99 map, and all three um, will be available within uh, the fir very first part of 2019 with the DC and the SR shipping in January and the AC scheduled for February. Uh, now we have Matt Olson from MIP here to share with us some of the products that MIP has that will uh, be coming out and also work on the 22.5.0 and some other TLR vehicles. So, Thank Matt. you very much, Frank, uh, for having me here. Definitely honored to be here. We have a couple new TLR products that are going to be coming uh, very, very soon. They should actually be in the warehouses now. Um, we have the all-new 5.0 and 4.0 um, buggy puck system kit. What's really nice about this puck system kit is over the steel drivetrain, it will reduce the rotational mass by 40%. Um, it's got a two-piece outdrive in it. So being that the the 4.0, it takes a um, decent amount of screws to take out the drivetrain. And if you damage any of the outdrives with the main screw that you have when you bring that out, you can replace those outdrives if you happen to um, mess one up. What's really nice about this as well is you have the pucks. The pucks are the are the are basically the only wear component of the entire system. So with the pucks, when they do wear out, all you do is you simply replace those and your drivetrain becomes super fresh again. As well as with the keyed yoke that we have on here, you replace that as well, your, um, your whole drivetrain becomes super, super fresh. So the, the puck system has won many national races and uh, we just are very honored to have this now for the new 5.0. So there's that one as well as we have the um, the 22T 4.0 and um, 3.0 SCT uh, drivetrain system here, which will also work for those vehicles. And um, you, I'm sure you guys will get some close-ups of the car, but you can see Frank was uh, allowed us to put this in his new 5.0, and um, the drivetrain system is super, super nice. It uh, just works awesome in these in these car kits and for spec racing from 17.5 you can run it with a locker um, we would not recommend that you run with a locker in 13.5 with the aluminum drivetrain system but with a slipper is fine and that goes for both truck um, and buggy and um, there's a couple tools that you will need to be able to assemble the puck drive system um, that are going to be over the normal tools that you may have for your new 5.0, which will be the 1 16th. This will be for the small screw that you'll use in the yoke when putting on uh, for, your, for your bone, as well as the 050. And I really like to use two 050s when getting on the puck. You'll have two small screws that go on the side for the pin, and you twist them counter of each other to either tighten them up or loosen them up when you want to replace the pucks. So when you go on to Horizon, check that out. It's part number 9000S for the 050, and it's part 9001S for the 116th. And of course, you're going to have your normal 2.0 or 564s that will work for your main diff screw that goes in there. Um, what's going to be really cool as well to 
offer a new product. We have the new 2.0 ball wrench. I know probably Frank, you've been waiting for this yeah, thing for a while. Yeah. So I think uh, I think this might be Frank's. I don't know if he's going to leave. I'm going to be able to leave with, uh, the building with this thing. So we have the new 2.0 ball end hand wrench and speed tape speed tip wrench. This is going to be part number 9040. And um, this is 9040S for the speed tip. The S defines uh, speed tip. So this will fit in any quarter inch chuck that you want to use, quick change, anything like that. So what's really nice is you're going to see like on your new 5.0, you're going to have these screws that are, once you take off your wing, when you want to remove your tower, where it's going to be able to get in at that angle. So you have 10 degrees worth of articulation for where you want to go at it. So it's really nice. We ended up, um, and especially with like titanium screws. So I can see here that, that Frank runs all Lunsford titanium screws. They recommend our tools as well. And um, what's really nice is titanium is a softer metal, of course, than, than steel. So having a nice sharp tip on there uh, that the MIPs do will be really nice for all those titanium screws and of course steel screws and I'm sure Frank knows a lot of MIP tools that he uses on his rigs you know he's able to get out strip screws that other people have from around the track so definitely check out these all new kits on Horizon Hobby and um, they're going to be definitely available soon I think uh, you guys have these in the warehouse as well awesome well that's the 22 5.0 DC, AC, and SR, and thank you Matt Olson for sharing uh, some of the MIP products coming out that will work for TLR vehicles as well. Awesome. Thank you, Frank. Thanks. Hey guys, and we have Brad here. How's it going? Force RC. That's right. And um, Brad, this is kind of something interesting to me because we call this a tent scale crawler. But yeah, it, it's a little. It's kind of an optical illusion. I mean, I might be able to grasp the size a little bit right here, but it's really bigger than tent scale, right? It's more of a large tent scale, I would say. Okay. My kind of like you know a little, a little blown up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's your tent scale uh, crawler platform. Uh, it does come with a 20 turn brush motor in it. Uh, it's lipo compatible as well. All electronics are waterproof, so you can, as you see, it has a little dirt and water on it. <laughs> Stains from uh, playing around with it, so you can crawl anywhere with it. Yeah, so this is the Forest RC Northwood. We didn't actually mention that. And um, this is going to be theoretically available as soon as you see this. Yes. We're, we tried it with Force. We try to make it to where when the, when the vehicles or planes show up, you can buy it as soon as we announce Correct, it. Correct, right away. There might be a day or two wiggle room, but these are going to be available like... Very soon. Yeah, very, probably, very soon. Probably next week at the latest. So Correct. these should actually make like Christmas if you're looking for something great. Is this a true ready to run with battery and everything? Yes, it's true ready to run. Uh, one thing I want to state, it is super beefy. Uh, a lot of the parts and everything are built up. It can take the abuse of, uh, you know, out there extreme crawling and everything. Yeah, I think you actually were on the, the video. Yes, for this, so. yes, okay. yes. We had fun with it. It was, it was a good time. Awesome. Now, um, we'll do the same thing. I know we already have a video ready for this, which you'll probably yes. see this guy featured in. <laughs> um, so check that out. We're going to talk a lot more about this. Plenty of info is going to be on the website, horizonhobby.com and towerhobbies.com. Yes. So if you need any other questions, jump over there. We're going to let Brad go. Stay tuned. There's still a lot more to come. Hey everyone, welcome back, and we are now joined by Jason from eFlight, and I think we have something very exciting that a lot of people are going to dig. Yep. I personally see a lot of people on social media commenting, wanting more of this. So Jason, yes. what exactly are we looking at here? So we're looking at the new eFlight F-16 Thunderbirds 70mm EDF. And so first and foremost, a lot of people love the F-16, people love Thunderbirds, yes. uh, people love eFlight and EDF. They obviously are just, it's like a match made in heaven. And so uh, we did actually have a Thunderbirds F-16 a long time ago, yep. which some people may have seen. We posted about that here recently. Yep. Uh, and so <laughs> that airplane was one of my personal favorites. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but I was born and raised in Las Vegas because my parents were in the Air Force and they got 
got stationed at Nellis Air Force Base. They actually met in the Air Force, they transferred there, uh, and they've never left. They're actually still there in Las Vegas. But I grew up around the Thunderbirds. Uh, I went on school field trips to see them uh, outside of air shows. We saw them at air shows. So it's a personal favorite of mine. I've got everything from our, our now unfortunately discontinued UMX F-16 all the way up to a giant scale turbine F-16, a Thunder, all Thunderbirds, um, and then a couple models in between. And then this is going to be my favorite one, though, I can tell you, because it's the right size that it's easy to transport. Uh, it's got great performance, so it can fly in the wind. It's got AS3X and the Binafly Basic version. Uh, it's got uh, just amazing capabilities that F-16s normally do. F-16s fly different than a lot of airplanes that are out there. They've got some really neat characteristics and capabilities. Uh, it can go fast. And so it's one of the fastest jets in the real world, and also as a model, it's very fast. And this thing is, is extremely fast, a lot like our Viper 70 millimeter, the same power system as that. And so the top speed is probably, you know, 100 miles an hour uh, or more. And so uh, the nice thing about that is you've got really great high speed performance, but then it'll slow down and it can actually fly high alpha. You may see in videos of this, if you've ever gone to an air show and seen the F-16 fly or Thunderbirds fly, they do some high alpha maneuvers. Very, very cool, very exciting to see. Uh, and so it's got a very wide performance envelope and it's got a very very good power system and so it's got great power or great throttle response uh, it uses a six cell battery so anything from a 3200 up to a 4000 milliamp battery we officially recommend I will say the battery compartment is pretty large larger than what's on the Viper right. and so you actually could potentially fit more than a 4000 milliamp battery and we don't officially recommend that we haven't really gotten a chance to test it much but guys that have 5000s they may fit in there uh, hopefully without having to modify the battery compartment at all but the sweet battery for us we really like the uh, six cell 3200 from okay. um, the new smart series of batteries from Spectrum. This is like the sweet battery. It's got the, it's like a, the right CG, good power, decent flight time. It's great for high alpha stuff, but at the same time, the 4000 is a really great choice for that as well. We've got the nice Conexus 4000 mounted in there right now. And I like that battery because it gives a good balance of center of gravity to flight time. Uh, and, and flight time is one of the things that some guys are not loving about EDFs right now. But to get really high performance, it does pull a lot of current. Uh, and, you know, that said, we're still getting somewhere in the neighborhood of three and a half to four minutes, like on a 3200. A 4000, you might be able to stretch it to five minutes. If you can fit a bigger battery, it could be even longer. It depends on also how you fly. If you fly a lot of full throttle, the way a lot of us do, a little bit less flight time. Uh, but at the same time, you get a little more flight time if you're flying it, uh, you know, with the throttle brought back. And so I want to point out, though, that although we've had F-16s in the past, we even had the Ultra Micro F-16 with AS3X. This is our first ever F-16 model with Safe Select. Okay. So it is available in a Binafly basic version that includes a Spectrum AR-636 receiver with AS3X in it, which just locks it in. And it's so smooth, so locked in with the AS3X active. And then you have the option. You don't have to use it with Safe Select. You can activate Safe Select. So when you turn it on, you can put it on a switch. Yep. You can turn it on. And when it's on, you've got pitch and bank angle limits. So you can't roll or pitch upside down. Uh, and then also self-loving. So if you let go of the sticks, it keeps the wings level for you, keeps the nose level for you. And so that really is helpful for a person who doesn't have a lot of stick time in either an EDF or, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you're kind of moving into the world of high-performance EDFs, this is a great first F-16. It is the best F-16 you're going to get as far as uh, ease to fly, overall performance, and, and, and um flight capabilities. Uh, again, I, I think it's the right size, so it's easy to transport, easy to fly to a lot of different fields. And so I think it's going to be a great choice for a lot of people. And so again, we do have the Binafly Basic version available for $299.99. Uh, that does include um, pretty much everything you'd expect. You've got, again, the Air 636 receiver. You've got the 70 millimeter fan, 12 blade fan with the motor, 70 amp ESC. We've got digital metal geared servos all around, which is phenomenal. Also, we've got factory installed electric retracts with, and I'm not sure if you guys can see them there, but we do have shock absorbing struts. Yep. So those do come standard. And the nice thing about the shock absorbing struts, um, and the landing gear has uh, metal trunnions, it's got a lot of metal components, it's really durable, it's got good shock absorption, it actually is capable of flying off of grass. Okay, a lot of people are going right. to ask that question, can yep. it take off and land on grass? Yes, it can. Uh, also, of course, pavement, which you guys will see in the video. Real quick note on the video, we're going to have a little bit of a, kind of like a, a sizzle teaser video to show everybody when we announce this. And then in a, in a couple of weeks when the airplane starts shipping, we're going to have the full on video where you guys can see even more of the flight performance. We're trying to get six of these into the air at, at the same time. Uh, of course, the weather, not, not the great. <laughs> greatest around uh, central Illinois this time of year, but we're trying our darndest to get some of the um, uh, our best emulation of a Thunderbirds demonstration flight with six of these. Uh, we actually do include the numbers, so you can number them Ooh. specific to your own choice. So we've got numbers one through six. Five is upside down because that's one of the uh, the guys that flies upside down for pretty much the entire uh, routine. And so that's really exciting. And then I want to point out, 
these are actually going to be in stock very, very soon. I was just going to say, you just said a couple of weeks. Yeah, so, so there. you guys are seeing this on Thursday. <laughs> right now, it looks like they're going to be in stock around the end of next week. That's perfect. That's the, awesome. So you could get one of these before Christmas if you pre-order yeah. now. That's the catch. I think a lot of guys have been trying to get their hands on the Viper for months now. Yeah. We can't keep up. The Viper is a phenomenal, phenomenal EDF airplane. Great first EDF. My suggestion would be if you've never flown an EDF, start with that. Then you move into this. This could be a first EDF, but I still recommend this probably as like a second. F-16s have some interesting characteristics. They have a little more drag bucket to them. And so um, they, they're easy to land and hard to land by any stretch, in my opinion. But I would say it's still not necessarily the best first choice for a jet. The Viper is great. Then move into this. But the Vipers have been selling out every time we get them in. In yeah. fact, I don't think we've had them in stock yet. We do have the plug and plays in yeah. stock for those that are interested. But everybody wants to buy and fly. Yeah. They want AS3X. They want Safe Select. We totally get that. Uh, and again, even as, a, as an experienced pilot, uh, Safe Select is a good thing. I, I've recommended this in the past, and I'll continue to recommend it. You know, every once in a while, you have somebody that wants to fly it that's never flown a jet before. You can hand it them with Safe Select active. If you fly through the sun and lose orientation, you yeah. can flip on Safe Select to save your bacon. So there's a lot of benefits to Safe Select, even if you're a very experienced pilot. Um, so again, these are going to be available around the end of next week. Quantity is limited. Yep. So my suggestion is if you really want one, you need to pre-order it right now. As soon as you see this video on horizonhobby.com, towerhobbies.com, at your favorite local retailer, your favorite online retailer, uh, get that pre-order in to make sure you get one as soon as possible and before Christmas. Otherwise, honestly, they're going to be sold out, and you're not going to be able to get one of these until sometime next year. And, you know, we don't want to panic everybody, but I'm telling you, if you want one of these amazing F-16s, you're going to have to get your hands on it sooner rather than later, and you're going to want to pre-order it right away. Yeah, and one thing, I, I, I see it a lot. People think that we're, we've, we've sold them, and then we're never going to get them again because it just uh, yeah. is back-ordered. Yeah. There's a list that we're filling, you know, 50, yes. 100 at a time. It's just... We have so many that are ordered that by the time they get here, they get shipped right out. Exactly. Yeah. So every it's day. It's not like we're not actually. We oh, we ordered a hundred and that's it. No, we're ordering these yeah. over and over. And it's just if you're not on that back order list or the pre order list. That's the catch is you, yeah. you've got to get in line to make sure you get them. So you know we may every day we take on more and more back orders. And so when those back orders come in, they get added to the list yep. and it ships out in the order in which it was received. Yep. So if we've got you know. Uh, 500 back orders and we get 400 airplanes the 400 go out right. the next hundred are at the top of the list for the next yep. shipment so on and so forth so the one benefit of order pre-ordering and back order on hh.com or sorry horizonhobby.com and towerhobbies.com is that you don't have to pay for it yeah. You can put the order in. We don't charge you until we ship it. So, you know, that's really uh, beneficial for a lot of people. Uh, now, it depends on uh, your local retailer's policies, whether or not they pre-charge pre, pre you or, or make you pay for a back order. But, again, we don't. So, uh, again, I strongly recommend pre-ordering it today. When you guys see this, it will ship hopefully as soon as the end of next week. could be early the following week, depending on the, the incoming shipment time frames. Uh, but, again, if you're going to want to get one before Christmas, you really got to get your pre-order in. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So... We have a little bit more to talk about. We're going to talk about our 12 days of Christmas that we have going on. So we're going to quickly clear this off and bring in some other goodies. So stay with us. We have a little bit more to talk about. Hey guys, and finally, we wanted, like I alluded to before, talk about our 12 days of Christmas sale. Mm -hmm. Now we started this Monday. Mm -hmm. It's already Thursday, so we've unwrapped a couple items already yep. so um, JC you want to run through some of the air stuff we've done and maybe yep. I'll jump over to the surface so one of the things we started with was the uh, the mini convergence here which is still pretty new but this is the plug-and-play version we have it on sale uh, at $30 off the regular price however we also include yes. a free receiver yes. and a free battery so basically it's like getting a bind and fly basic plus a free battery so it's almost full bind and fly no charger uh, for 149 which, which is, is a less, smoke and smoking deal. Which so, is less than the bind and fly. Yeah, so the bind and fly is $199, yeah. uh, and so right now it makes no sense to buy the bind and fly. If you bought the bind and fly plus the battery, you spent almost $230. Right. So this is a smoking deal. So it's almost like $80 off when you consider what you're getting in the package. Right. Installing a receiver is very, very easy to do. It's a serial receiver, so there's just basically one connection. Uh, I've done it on a couple of them now. It's super simple, super quick to do. Uh, it is, does not work with other brand receivers. Right. It does only work with a Spectrum receiver that's included. Uh, but again, we include that in the package. 
package, you got to buy the PMP version, and again, you get the free battery and the free receiver all together for 150 bucks. So that was a good way to start it off. And then the next day, we actually added the uh, very popular yes. E-Flight UMX GB here. This is the new version with the higher KV motor and AS3X and Safe Select. And this thing is normally $129.99, but it's $99. Yeah, that's and great. so, oh, to point out, the way this sale works is every day we unwrap something new. Uh, if it goes on sale that day, it stays on sale through the end unless it sells right. out. So if you don't buy it today, it will be on sale tomorrow if we still have it in stock. But if it sells out, that's it. It's off the sale. Yeah, it's, so, almost, it's almost like luck of the draw. Like, do you wait yeah. out waiting for the more sales? Exactly. So it's, I mean, a lot of this, yeah. it's not like we have like eight of anything. I mean, right. we have a lot. Yeah. But it's that time of year, yep. so you never and, know. And some days we only have one item. Some days we have a couple items. Yep. Depends on the day uh, based on the way things worked out. Sometimes we have some cars and planes. Sometimes we have just a car. Sometimes we have just a plane, just a, a controller yep. or a radio or, or hint, a quad, hint, something hint. like that. So <laughs> you got to keep an eye on the page every day. Just check it. Yep. Come on and check it. If you see something you like that you think is a good deal, buy it. Otherwise, you are probably going to miss out. So, uh, again, day one, day with two on the airplanes. Day three, we've got uh, the Blade Theory W. This one's kind of had a rough life here, but... Uh, <laughs> This is a smoking deal, 70 bucks off. Wow. So you can get this uh, in the FPV ready version. Basically, it's a bind and fly basic, but no FPV gear for 150 bucks, 149.99. Or you can get the version that's already equipped with FPV for, I bet, I think $30 more. So 179.99, a very, very good deal. And then uh, I noticed these things are smoking value. Yeah, so this so, one in particular. Yeah, so this is the Low C Tenacity Monster Truck. Mm -hmm. And this is $150 off. So normally it was $399.99. Now we're looking at $249.99. $249. This is a ready to run. You just have to put in your own battery and charger. Okay. But this truck will go like 50 on a 3S Lite, though. I yeah, mean, it's, it's brushless, right? Yes. And four wheel drive? Yes. $249 yeah. is a, an unbelievable yeah. deal. When I put up the post for this, I actually put like, this is a Christmas morning game changer right here. Because yes. if, if your son or daughter opens something like this, or husband, boyfriend, or whatever, I mean, come on. This thing's killer yeah. for the price. You can't yeah. beat it. And I did see a couple of comments. People were like, well, wait, that's the price that it is everywhere. And so these prices that we're talking about, these are sale prices Good for point. this sale. The Good regular point. price is three ninety nine, but we are offering that sale price through participating retailers, yep. local retailers and online retailers. So if your local store has it at the same price, great. That's intentional. We right. offer the deals to them as well. Or an online retailer, you might see it on eBay or whatever. No problem. We understand that. So, again, it is on sale during this period from the day that it goes live up until the 14th, which is next Friday. Yep. And then finally, we have the Low-C Mini 8, which mm -hmm. is a 114th scale desert buggy. But this is a true ready-to-run. I say true mm -hmm. ready-to-run because it comes with literally everything in the box. Battery, charger, everything's included for $209.99. <sighs> Pretty good deal. Yeah. I mean, for everything that's included, you can literally go online, buy this, have it sent, and be done Christmas shopping. Done. Nothing else you have to add. And um, this thing, these things are a ton of fun. We yeah. also have the, the buggy version. We also have a truggy version. And, I mean, this has been a staple for Losi for, like, five-plus years at least. So there's going to be – also, forgot, almost forgot to mention, so today is Thursday. We are opening mm -hmm. a Viterra Ascender. I don't want to give away which one because I want you to see the post. Yeah, so make sure you check, check it out. out. Uh, another it's great a good deal. deal. It's yeah. a smoking deal, and, yeah. And these are going to continue up until, I believe, the 14th. 14th. So next Friday, basically, again, every day, at least one item. Some days, a couple of items, yep. depending on the day. Uh, so you got to check back. And, again, there's a little bit of something for everyone. Yep. We've got airplanes, quad, cars, uh, radios, yep. a little bit of everything going on different days. Yep. So be sure you check that. Check, <laughs> check back every day. If you like the deal, buy it. Otherwise, you may miss out yep. because, again, quantities are limited. And if they sell out, then the sale is off. Yep. So you got to watch out for that. Yep. So if you have any questions, Questions, comments. We can't give away what's going to be unwrapped. We've we've already been getting that a little bit. Um, just stay tuned yeah. for more. Um, let us know. You know what you think. What some of your suggestions are. What uh, yeah, yeah. We've been asking people what you'd like to see on sale. Just kind of fun seeing that. So uh, we'll let you guys go. It's probably a little long, but we had a lot to cover. We did. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week, and we'll do it all over again. So thanks.